from one generation's era on to its next. We look back at the careers of D Generation X, the new D Generation X. Early on in the career, two members would start it off, and that would be Mark Cruz and the Chosen One Mario, in which they would fight the New Day within a month to capture the WWE Tag Team Championships of Monday Night Raw. Not only that, but their two duo of a tag team would eventually go on to be a faction which will hold more than two members. Up to five past members have been in the new D-Generation X. And not only that, but when they held the WWE Tag Team Championships of Raw, they've held it longer than any superstar had on Monday Night Raw in history of WWE 2K16. As a matter of fact, they never lost the titles, no matter who was teaming with the Chosen One. With their significant finisher of the duo with the Super Kick along with the Pedigree, they would take down legendary tag teams from NXT, such as members of the Ascension, Victor and Connor, to the VOD villains Simon Gotch and Aiden English. Later on, they would take on more serious tag teams, such as the primetime players Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. Only two members of D-Generation X haven't held those titles, and that would include members like Bruce Mitchell and Boss Mode, while only Mark Cruz, Gore, and the Chosen One Mario have held the prestigious tag team championships. Thus cementing the legacy as one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce the very first WWE 2K16 tag team into the FRJ Productions WWE 2K16 Hall of Fame. Bruce Mitchell, Boss Mode, Gore, Mark Cruz, and the Chosen One, Mario. D-Generation X.